Argen is uh, a gateway to the blockchain space, more specifically to Ethereum. So we have solved the core security and usability issues of, uh, of blockchain for our users by removing security and logic at the protocol layers. With Argen, you get the same experience than what you are used to with your bank. Uh, so imagine a bank that is fully distributed. We don't hold your money, we don't hold your assets, you are in control of your assets and your identity. Uh, but you don't need to back up a private key on paper, you don't need to worry about someone stealing your assets, the smart contract will protect them, and we abstract complex concepts like transaction fees or gas fees in the Ethereum space. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the Argent Wallet. If you guys follow me, you guys know I'm a huge CeFi slash DeFi fan. So naturally I would do a review on one of DeFi's premier mobile wallets. If any of you guys are new to DeFi, I highly recommend watching one of my DeFi videos. You can access that intro DeFi video by clicking on the upper right hand corner of your screen or clicking in the description below. And if you want to join a community of like-minded individuals to wrap your head around the DeFi space, you should consider joining my Discord channel. If you guys want to join, just sign up for my free weekly newsletter in the description below and I'll email you guys a link giving you guys full access to my Discord channel. And I would greatly appreciate it if you guys would like this video, comment down below and subscribe to this channel. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive into this review. All right, to start you guys off, let me give you guys a quick intro to the Argent wallet. Recently, they launched their public version of the wallet on iOS and Android, and they also happened to secure $16 million in a Series A funding round, where notable investors like Paradigm were eager to invest in the project. Now, you might be wondering, well, we have so many wallets in the space, what exactly is Argent trying to accomplish? There's a few key areas that Argent Wallet wanted to focus on in hopes of facilitating crypto mass adoption. Number one, too easy to lose assets. If you forget your seed key or your smart phrase, you could potentially lose all your assets. Secondly, it's really scary to transact because if you make a mistake, you could be sending it to the wrong address and your funds could be lost forever. Lastly, many of the wallets up there can't connect to dApps. The decentralized application ecosystem has seen tremendous growth in the past couple years. And to make these dApps accessible to the masses, you need a wallet that's able to integrate with these decentralized applications. With this in mind, the team decided to focus on two things, security and simplicity. In terms of security, you want the users to be able to freeze their accounts if they see any suspicious activity. Also, if the users lose their phone, you wanna make sure that they're able to easily recover their accounts. Users should be able to set daily transaction limits. This way, the losses are minimized if there's some sort of security breach. And for additional layers of security, there should be biometrics and encryption. In terms of simplicity, there should be a list of trusted contacts who can be used to approve transactions or help recover your address. And nobody wants to pay any transaction fee. So abstracting that away, would definitely improve the user experience. And lastly, no cryptic addresses. Sometimes it could take up to 30 minutes to send a transaction if you have to copy and paste the address and you have to double check to make certain it's an exact match. By addressing all these issues, you would make it easy, free, and safe to send digital assets. And in my view, it would go a long way in promoting adoption. In this next segment, I'm gonna give you guys a walk through the app. So currently it's available on iOS and Android. After downloading the app, all you need to do is enter your email address and your phone number to get started. On the home screen, you can begin by adding funds. And to do that, you just click the upper left-hand corner of the screen on add funds. Here you have three options to buy ETH. You can use a debit card, a bank transfer, or you can send from a different wallet or exchange. Note that the debit card and bank transfer both incur a fee and the fees that you see here on the screen could change in the future. So make sure to check the fees before you guys decide to buy with a debit card or bank transfer. Once your wallet is loaded, you're ready to go. You can definitely use one of the native DeFi applications that's already built into the application, but if you want to access a different DeFi platform like DYDX, you'd have to go to the DeFi platform, click here on the upper right hand corner of the screen to access Wallet Connect, and in your application, click on Scan, Scan the QR code, click on connect, and you're ready to go. 
To double check to see if the connection was successful, navigate to the balances page of the respective DeFi platform and make sure that these two balances match. And you can see here that the ETH balances in my case both match. And if you scroll over to finances, you can see where your crypto assets are being put to work. In my case, I have approximately $4 in a token set. And if you click here on activities, it'll give you a consolidated view of all the transactions that you've made. And you can also organize your transactions by category, whether that's payments, trades, finance, security, dApps. As you can see from the walkthrough, they've done a lot to abstract away the complexity to make the whole process very simple and easy for the user. By navigating to your profile page, you can actually adjust your security settings. Something I wanted to highlight was the guardians feature in the application. Using this feature, you can actually designate guardians to help you recover your wallet and also do a proof of transactions that exceed your daily limit. In terms of who you can assign as a guardian, well, you have three choices. Number one is Argent's own guardian service, which is basically a third party that's been approved by Argent to be a guardian for their respective users. Next, you can select from two of your close friends who are also using Argent. And lastly, you can use a Ledger Nano S hardware wallet. Because your funds aren't stored on an address, they're actually stored in a smart contract. You can't recover your funds by using a private key or a smart phrase. There's two ways you can recover your funds if anything happens to your mobile wallet. There are three factors involved in the recovery process, and you just need to fulfill the requirements of three of five factors in order to recover your funds successfully. In both cases, you'll need to download the Argent wallet on another phone. That's factor one. Secondly, you'll have to ask Argent's guardian service to send you a text or an email to confirm your identity. And lastly, you'll need to confirm your identity with the Ledger Nano S. You'll get your funds in 36 hours. This way you have enough time to cancel the entire recovery process in case it's a hijacking attempt. The second way to recover your wallet is again to download the app on another phone. Then you ping two friends. This counts as factor two and factor three. And again, you'll have to wait 36 hours before your funds are restored in your new wallet. In addition to guardians, you can also change your phone security by frequently changing your passcode. You can also change the login preference by enabling or disabling Face ID. Next, you can adjust your daily transfer limit. And you can see here by default, it was 10. And since I use 0 0.02, I have 9.98 ETH left that I can use within the day. And if 10 ETH is too much or too little, you can definitely adjust it by clicking on adjust. You can change this amount so it better suits your needs. Lastly, by clicking on authorized apps, you can see which apps your wallet is connected to and disconnect them if you no longer want to use the app. As you can see, they have a strong focus on security and they allow their users to modify their security settings to best suit their respective needs. Now, this is the segment of the video I was most looking forward to. We're gonna talk about how to put your crypto assets to work using one of the integrated DeFi platforms. If you navigate to the invest screen on the mobile application, you can see that you have a wide variety of DeFi platforms that you can use. On top of that, they even organize some of the protocols. This way, if you're looking to earn some interest on your crypto assets, you can easily find the protocol that suits your need. So we're gonna go ahead and click on explore savings. And by using any one of these DeFi platforms, you can put your crypto assets to work by lending them out and earning some interest on them. And I think this is key for a lot of these wallets because if you're new to the DeFi space, you don't know which platforms offer lending, it's nice to have this organized list of platforms that offer lending. So if you click on Compound, you can see that if I had any one of these assets, I can lend them out for the rates listed here on the page. And this is actually a great time to experiment with the wallet because currently Argent is eating all fees. So if you execute a transaction using this mobile wallet, you won't have to pay any gas. So for example, if you're looking to trade tokens, maybe use the Kyber token exchange or the Uniswap exchange on the Argent wallet. Because at times those fees can rack up. I mean, I've paid fees in excess of $5 at times. And if you guys have been following me for a while, you guys know that this was coming. I've been saying for a while that in the future, what I envision is that you're gonna have many different players in the mobile wallet space. All of them are gonna offer a unique user experience and that's gonna be their selling point. They're going to integrate various DeFi platforms into their wallet and they're going to find unique ways to monetize that user experience. It's almost like having a bank on your phone. 
not only can you get access to banking services, but you can also get access to financial services. In contrast to what we've been using in the past, this is radically different in a very good way. Now I'll conclude the video by sharing my thoughts with you guys. I think this wallet is a great start and I think it's going to open the doors to a lot of different mobile wallets following in their footsteps. Some of the problems being addressed by this wallet, many of the developers knew this a while back, but this is actually one of the few wallets to actually deliver a solution. Now that they've come up with a model for creating a wallet without requiring a private key or a smart face for recovery, I think they've opened the floodgates for other developers and projects to create wallets that offer the same features. But I think they have a hurdle. For now, you can get away with just putting in your phone number and your email address, but I'd imagine that the regulators are eventually going to step in and require more KYC information. Also, the platform is eating all gas fees for now. They still have a lot of VC money to throw around, but what happens when the VC investors want a return? Will Argent be able to retain its customer base after they've grown quite a bit? Because if I was an early user and they changed the fee model later on, it might encourage me to look for a different wallet provider. And for my last critique, I just wanted to address the security. For now, it hasn't been compromised, but what happens when it's a larger honeypot? What happens when more savvy people get involved? All it would take is one bad event, one major hack for this wallet to have a huge setback. But despite my criticism, I'm very optimistic about the space in general. I consider people like you who are watching this video, myself as part of the cognitive elite. And moving forward, I think the people who participate in this ecosystem by either creating the platforms or using the platforms will gain a competitive edge over their peers. I mean, many people in the crypto space talk about a huge wealth transfer event coming, but let's say your crypto assets appreciate. Are you just gonna leave them in your cold wallet? Or are you gonna put those crypto assets to work using the financial services offered by the DeFi ecosystem? If you guys are planning to put your crypto assets to work like I am, you should definitely subscribe, click the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I publish more DeFi related videos in the future. And don't forget to sign up for my free weekly newsletter by clicking the link in the description below. I cover DeFi news and much, much more. With that being said, this is Crypto One Step signing out. I'll talk to you folks next time. Bye.